Hi everyone. So in this session, we are going to create this 3D model in uh, Creo. So as usual, we will start from new. So part solid. So this is our model five. And then uncheck this default template and click OK. So we need 10 millimeter Newton second. Click OK. So if you see over here, uh, we have to start from drawing this. After that, we can go on step by step. So first of all, I'm choosing front plane, clicking OK. So I need to draw this part. So I'm just creating a rectangle or you can create it with lines. So drawing a line over here and then you can mirror the line with respect to this and then you can join that by using a arc before that we specify the distance so this distance is 120 you can go for dimension click here and here and then give the distance as 120 and this distance is uh, they have mentioned from here to here it is 114 and then from that point this side 43 from here to here that side 43 so total uh, I think we need to specify arc then we can give the distance so click over here and here and position it like this position it like this so they have mentioned this one is having a radius 100 so giving 100 and if you see uh, this also we need to make it symmetric so go to symmetry select this point line center axis and this so now it is symmetrical so now the thing is we need to mention the distance so the total distance would be so 1 and 4 plus 43 plus 43 so you can specify from here till here so 1 and 4 plus 43 plus 43 enter so it's 200 fine so now the object is fully defined you can give the fillet over here so it is radius 18 so you can uh, go to fillet and select here and here select this make fillet here make fillet here then go to dimension click over here and then give the radius as 18 enter so then make equal so click on equal select this this and this and this so everything it will take same radius so I think the sketch is fine so but still uh, I think that uh, equal relation has to be mentioned here as well okay the bottom also we need to make it symmetric I think the symmetry relation got deleted so that's why keeping symmetry with respect to the center axis as well so now the sketch is fine click ok so do extrusion having a height of or you can calculate from here also so this is 21 and uh, so this distance is 50 total distance is 45 so the remaining would be 30 and click ok so this is being created like this so then we need to make a uh, make it hollow so by using shell we can create that so go to shell and select the base and give the thickness as 6 so it will form like this so once this thing done so we can create this portions over here so either you can create one and then we can mirror or pattern it so I am creating one 
having a circle dash 26 so I think I have selected the wrong plane I am just starting from base so create a circle so that is touching exactly the line and uh, they are mentioned the distance uh, is 1 and 4 so from center means divided by 2 you have to mention so 57 and of uh, this object is 26 so create it click ok and then we need to make a solid from this so that a height is 35 so created and then on top uh, we need to make a hole and fill it into so that hole is we are having a, a diet well we need to make it so now you can click on here and then go to sketch and then go to this concentric click over here and then give the diameter as 12 so this is done click ok and uh, go to extrude remove material flip it down and make up to last so after that we need to make a chamfer of 1.5 so I'm going for angle so 45 D and then giving the distance as 1.5 enter and then chamfer here click ok I think the outside has to be filleted of radius 2 go to round select the edge and then give the radius as 2 and click ok so this has been done so we can create pattern by using this or we can mirror it uh, I think the mirror will be the easier way or if you know the distance and all we can pattern it itself so we will try with pattern so hold control and select the features that you are going to pattern so we are going to do geometry pattern so this depends on direction first direction would be here so we need 2 and total distance is 120 so give 120 this flipping so click over here it will come exactly the second direction parallel to this we need to mention so that distance is 1 and 4 so click ok so everything will get patterned including the fillet including the chamfer hole everything will get patterned over here so i think the base is fine so we need to make the top so for creating this you can select this top face and then go to sketch so i need to make two circles so click on center and point so this circle has to be over here and uh, this one is little bit higher so specify the diameter for each this one is having dia 60 and this one is having dia 82 so click over here so click on this dia 60 enter and this one is having dia 82 fine so there is a distance between two so click on this and this distance is 60 enter and uh, from here to here that distance is 17 so click on this and this so give 17 fine so I think that's it so it won't I think uh, this will move up and down so that also we need to fix the distance is 15 
click over here you can select the axis and this and give 15 fine so now we need to trim it off and give this radius so click on this trim it out there's something this also now go to fill it click on here and here so go to apply radiuses 10 then click on equal click over here so it will become equal like this so we have removed it so that's why it is changing so this is having a diaph 82 constant Seventeen, fifteen. Okay. So all the sketch has been completed. Click extrude, and uh, that extrusion is having fifteen mm. So give fifteen. Enter click ok ok the top part is completed so we need to do this uh, below part also over here and 50 and over here 38 again rotate it like this and select the bottom page and then click here so both will have same center point so you can click on this and sharing with edges then you can click on project you can select this and this so for getting the center we need that over here so you can just click on this and then take that as a center we can create it one I think you can delete it just now because we need that as a reference only click on here click it like this so this one is having a diameter of 38 and over here we need to make it having a diameter of 50 both fine click ok so we need to make this having a, a distance of 26 that is nothing but 5 mm so up to here 21 so still we need to make it 5 mm click on extrude and then it will come down so give 5 over there click ok so now we need to make holes that's it so top here we need to make a hole uh, having a dia of 35 concentric only click on this push in it and give the diameters 35 and uh, over here it is straight hole having a dia of 40 so we can't do it now having different depth so first we will make this 135 it is going up to 5 mm after that you can select the face or you can select from top itself uh, anyhow it is going up to last so click on concentric select this place it escape click here place it so this one is having a die of 28 this one is having a die of 40 click ok then go to same extrude remove material flip make it up to last so this is ok so here I need to make one more chamfer so click on chamfer so click over here so select 45 cross D and give that distance is 1.5 then click OK. So fine. 
I think here we don't have any chamfer. So here we need to make a fillet of radius 3. So go to round, select the edges, continuous edges. So automatically it will get select everything. 3, click OK. And one more thing is we need to make this edges also blend. So now it is sharp. So we need to make that blend. So that is having radius 10. Go to round. Select this edge, hold control and select this edge over here, hold control and select this and select this and give the radius as 10. So it will form like this. So still we need to make this holes over here. So those holes are standard that is M12 uh having different uh having thread and all so we can't create with the uh, normal option like x2 so we will go with we can go to whole option and then uh, it's a standard it's having tapered taping over there so it's m12 so you can come below so i'm choosing m12 cross 1.75 and uh, can choose the placement so it is coming on this top face and uh, it is having some diameter PCD of it is 61 so you can choose come over here references so you can click on this axis in this plane so diameter give it as 61 and angle is 0 so now we need to specify the shape so thread will come up to 10 mm so hole will go up to 15 mm so you can give that over here so like this so then click on this and click ok so it has been created over here so now we can make a pattern of it so click on hole and then click on pattern then go to axis select here so we need 6 items so click 6 angle will be 60 click here and click ok so we have created exactly the model as it is shown over here so if you find any doubts or something just comment below and i will attach the drawing model in the description just check and subscribe for more videos thank you